What's going on guys, it's Bev here, and I'm bringing you a Gears or 3 commentary today. Uh, something I wanted to talk about today was the DLC that's coming out for Gears Judgment and also kind of my standpoint on Gears right now. Some people have been hitting me up lately, you know, asking where I'm at, why I haven't been posting. Uh, a guy by the name of Decipher on Twitter, and also a sub on YouTube named Eloquent Gear, you know, they're kind of, you know, asking me, you know, why I haven't been posting, have I I've been enjoying Gao J? And the answer is no, I really haven't. Like, you can see that the gameplay is Gears of War 3 because I don't even really like to get on Gears of War Judgment because there's such a lack of maps. Like, I feel it's sort of like the Gears of War 3 beta. You know how when you played that, you got so tired of the maps right away because there were just, there were like three maps. There was Trash Ball, Checkout, and there was one other map I can't remember. But it got so old so fast, and that's that's really how I felt about Gears of War Judgment. And not only the fact that there's only f like four or five traditional multiplayer maps, but I really don't like the maps to begin with because they're not symmetrical, they're not Gears of War maps, they're made for, you know, free-for-all. You know, maps like Gondola and stuff, I absolutely despise maps like that. Maps like Haven are actually cool, uh, Boneyard's okay, you know, maps like that are alright, but the majority of the maps are not like that. So I really haven't been playing that, and then also the fact that I can't find a ranked match on that game is really a bummer for me because, um, like, I don't hate quick match, but I don't like quick match at all. Like, I never play quick match. And the fact that I have no friends playing the game and there's nobody playing ranked because, you know, there's not that many people in the game to begin with, and then Epic has split everybody into 50 billion playlists, uh, it results in you being able to find zero ranked matches in anything besides ranked standard TDM, and I, you know, I, I don't, I want to play like some ranked execution and stuff, you know. So it's kind of a bummer to me, and I haven't really been playing because, like I said, I really don't like playing quick match. So when there's no ranked, and I don't have any friends to play, uh, it doesn't really make me want to play because that ends up being me playing by myself, which I don't like playing quick match which I don't like, on maps that I don't like. So it's not a good combination, and that's really why I haven't been playing or posting that game, because it just seems like there's nobody playing it, and then, you know, I don't have anyone to play it with, and then it gets very boring to me very fast. But I hopped on Gears 3 last night, which was actually a lot of fun. Um, it really kind of opened my eyes to, you know, how different Gauge is, because I haven't played Gears of War 3, I think, since Gauge came out. And it really felt like I was playing Gears. Like, I, I really truly did feel like I was playing Gears when I got on this game. And when I get on Judgment, like, I'm, I'm just being honest. Like, you know, it feels like I'm playing Gears, but it's like some odd variation of it. Like, when I get on this game, I really truly feel like I'm playing a Gears game. You know, there's Locust, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, the maps are traditional. And, you know, just everything. So, uh, Judgment has sadly just been kind of a downer for me. Uh, I'd like to real I'd like to enjoy the game and post content on it, and I'm still going to post content on it, but I just honestly haven't been enjoying it lately. So, you know, to make content on something that I I don't have fun doing, it's like it's just really hard to do, you know what I mean? It's like it's like me trying to go play Call of Duty for videos and I don't like Call of Duty. So, you know, it's it's like that. You know, it's making trying to produce content for something you don't enjoy. But, um, yeah, I've actually been playing a lot of League lately, uh, League of Legends, I don't know if you guys have heard of that, hopefully you have, because I'm pretty sure it is the most popular game in the entire world. So I've been playing that a lot lately, it's a PC game, it's completely different than Gears, uh, which has actually been a huge change of pace for me, which has actually been really nice, because, you know, probably literally since Gears 1, because before Gears 1 came out, I, w I didn't really play Xbox, I was like a Nintendo fan, uh, before Gears 1 came out, um, you know, I was a Nintendo player, and then after Gears 1 came out, you know, I've been like a 95% plus Gears player, like, since then. Like, you know, I play other games on occasion, but I pretty much just play Gears. So the fact that I've been taking a break from it and playing other stuff has actually been really cool. I've been playing League, which actually reminds me of Gears, because it's, you know, it's challenging, it's not easy to get good at, which I like, like, I, I respect that. And I've been just playing some, you know, like, arcade games and stuff like that for fun, which is, like I said, it's been a really cool change of pace just to, you know, relax and get on get on some other games like that and actually, you know, enjoy getting on instead of having to, you know, force myself to get on like I do Gao J. But, uh, yeah, League's actually really cool. 
Um, it reminds me of Gears a lot in a sense. It's a completely different game because Gao is a you know a third person shooter. League is uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It's an RTS. I'm not a big PC gamer, so I, I apologize. If, I, uh, I apologize if that's the wrong term. But uh, the reason I like it is because it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of StarCraft and you know League uh, in the sense that. It's a uh, it's a very challenging game, and you really have to know what you're doing when it comes to it. Unlike you know games like COD, Call of Duty, where I can hop on and you know I can kill someone that plays that game every day, and I play that about once every three months. You know because the game is easy. Um, that game is not easy, and you know like when I first started playing Gears, the reason that got me into that was the fact that it was rewarding to get good, and it was rewarding to learn the game, and it was rewarding to outplay people, and it really showed once you learned how to play the game. Um, when I don't feel like that shows as much in games like COD, like, you know, sure, you can be great at the game, and you can outplay most people, but um, there's still a chance that they're just going to kill you in one second, because that's the way the game is designed. Uh, so I've really been enjoying League. It's challenging. I'd like to post content on it, but I don't know if you guys would be interesting or interested in seeing that kind of thing because it is su such a different game. But uh, I do feel like passionate about that. It's a really cool game, and I really have been enjoying it. Uh, so last thing I want to talk about in this commentary is the new DLC for Gears of War Judgment, and I will try to post some content for that uh, because there are some pretty cool maps coming back. Uh, Probably one of my favorites from Gears 3 is Checkout. Checkout is making a return. Uh, this DLC is called Lost Relics. It's coming out in June. Um, I'm sure it's included in the Season Pass if you do own the Season Pass. And um, they haven't announced how much it's going to be without, so I don't have that information yet. <clears throat> but uh, Checkout is coming back. That's the flashback map. And then there's also Lost City, which is a new map. And also Museum, which is a brand new map. And those are all three, those are for standard multiplayer. And then there is also a map called Ward, which is for Overrun. And, you know, I just don't really have an interest in Overrun. I tried to play the, there was a new map, I, I apologize for not knowing the name of it, but it was like on a boat. <laughs> I'm on a boat, no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, it was, yeah, it was on like a, you know, like a huge, like aircraft carrier style boat. And I, I played like half a game of Overrun on it, and then I got bored and got off. Because, I, I don't know, I just don't really enjoy Overrun. Um, but yeah, there was a new map that came out, but, you know, I, I just honestly don't care about the Overrun maps. But yeah, so three new traditional multiplayer maps. I'm hoping that they're going, like, Checkout is already, but I'm hoping that they're going to be symmetrical. And that, you know, they aren't going to have weapons spawning and spawn with you on those maps, because I would be very upset. Uh, that was one of the things that made me extremely mad with the Gears of War Judgment Blood Drive, how you're literally just handed weapons out of spawn. I, I was very mad when they did that. But uh, another thing on, is that we're getting an, the last game type, and I'm pretty sure that this is the last DLC for this game. Correct me if I'm wrong, if there's another that's going to be really cool, but I'm pretty sure that this is the last one that come out. Uh, but the game type is called Breakthrough, and it's a single objective game type uh, that features like two teams, and basically... Uh, it's kind of like capture the flag. Uh, one team, you know, has the flag and they're supposed to, I guess, deliver to a location and the other one is defending. So uh, I, guess, I assume that would just be on the standard multiplayer maps. I'm not 100% sure, but I would assume so. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that is because, you know, I really do like single elimination game types and it's cool to see another one besides execution, you know, come into the mix. So I'm really looking forward to trying that out in June and seeing how it works. But uh, yeah, that's just about it for this commentary, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new DLC and, you know, if you guys have been feeling the same way about Gears that I have. You know, like, I just don't really enjoy getting on Gao J, so it's hard for me to get on and, you know, make content for you guys when I don't enjoy the game. I actually really, you know, enjoy getting back on, like, the old Gears. But, you know, Judgment, to me, just seems... It, it just really isn't a true Gears game, and I, I don't like that. And, yeah, also let me know if you'd like to see any League, you know, League of Legends content, or, you know, just so, something from some other games, because I've been enjoying... You know, I always play Gears, for sure. But I, I've been enjoying just doing other stuff lately and playing other things. Uh, it's been a really cool change of pace for me, and I've, you know, been enjoying gaming more lately, but... Uh, yeah, that's just about it, guys, and li like I said, you know, I'd, I've been talking to a few people in PMs lately. Uh, if you ever want to talk or, you know, just hit me up to say something, you know, feel free. I always respond, you know, Twitter, PMs on, you know, here on YouTube or whatever. 
And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next vid. Take it easy.